Alright, there's the deal. So, um, I got locked out of my Steam account recently. And, um, I can't remember the fucking login details. So basically, I've come up with an idea to do a series on the uh, Hidden Wonders. Or older titles that people may not give as much attention these days. Or give a shit about, really. I don't know. But, anyway, first title is Star Wars Republic Commando. It's one of the best FPS games to grace the market, in my opinion. And um, it introduced a lot of new features to younger players, such as like aiming down sights and um, tactical sort of maneuvers with your team. And you know, it's similar to Rainbow Six in some regards. But anyway, let's get it started. New game. Here we are on Camino, uh, I think it's called. From Attack of the Clones, clone reproduction facility that the clone army is originally made. I think what's great about this title is the way you um, you basically birth, and then you see yourself go through school, go through training in clone trooper tactics and that sort of shit. But essentially, like the beginning of Fallout Three. That's the sort of essence they were getting at I think with that make you feel more like assuming the role of an actual clone as opposed to just thrown into this, and in this regard, military fucking hero role where you're just super double hard and you can kill everyone I don't know it's just nice to see in an older sort of game reminds me a lot of old Half-Life Half-Life 1, Opposed and Force, Blue Shift, that sort of stuff. And, and also Halo, Combat Evolved, quite a bit as well. And there we Your have the iconic clone helmet. Upgrade Commando version, Your of course. The Eifer of our world hunt and pause to bring down much larger prey. Epic holodeck so training session. Now, oh, well, as you can see, you can aim down sights on this game, which does give it now, a lot of replayability for people who use the games like Battlefield, and Battlefront, all the titles, not so much acceptance of aiming, it's usually hip firing or scopes at the very most. And here we have and Delta City, Squad, the, fiercest hunter of all your brothers. the most overused you squad designation of, of all, all time. Person. And the Republic will call you to defend and give your lives if need be. Epic Invasion. Super next gen let's graphics. Player control with dropships. Awesome. Sir, we're gonna split up for the drop, but we'll meet you at the RV on Geonosis. See you on the side, sir. Son. has come to the galaxy. The Republic's secret weapon, a massive clone army, is deployed for the first time against the Separatist droid forces. Far above the carnage, the elite commandos of Delta Squad prepare for their first mission. Zero Hour, Clone Wars, Geonosis. Ready in the dropship? No green light there, that'd be nice. Sounds like some sort of Imperial code. So, uh, this is Genosis, Jordan, the attack of clones, that war that goes on, set during the exact same time period as that, right? Coincide. Once you're on the ground, you will rendezvous with 
But um, it does draw a lot from all the games, which is hard like the posing for us. And, you know, I think that's what's great about it. It's an amalgamation of some of the best features from older generation games, just shoot up into one. There we go. Black Hawk downtown. Oh, fucking hell. Well, he's gone. Move out, move out, move out! I want to clean the spiritual this time, guys! <laughs> Imagine all the clones were just like Yanks. Cool New Zealand accent, placed by some dark New York slur. Which I digress. So, yeah, you can aim down sights in this, but it doesn't affect the accuracy altogether too much, unless it's with a sniper. As you would find in most titles, but it's still a nice feature to have. And of course, healing stations, a little throwback to the Half Life style HEV suit and help the suit monitor station box things. It really is like Halo of Duty in public Star Wars Commando, man. But. That's what you want from the game, isn't it? Really. You want a tactical, immersive experience where you feel like you're gonna win. And it's not veteran on like fucking Call of Duty 4 where every single enemy on the map is just aiming at you. Captain Price and guys just running past everyone. No, this is more of an uh, Halo style super soldier experience, but blended with more tactical gameplay, more teamwork, which I AI. Fortunately, there is no co-op, which I think is a bit of a deal breaker for this day and age, but as it came out a long time ago, it's not too much to worry about. We'll have to look out and see if there's any mods actually to enable a co-op campaign mode in this. That'd be awesome. Wrist knife! Main feature of the game. It sold it for me when I was a kid. Wrist knives. The whole aesthetic of this game really, it looked amazing, it played amazing. I've still got my original Xbox copy somewhere. The droids of course explode oil all over you when you stab them, which enables the neat animation on the visor. There's just so many little things that add up to a good title with this game. It does show its age slightly graphically, but the gameplay sort of takes your mind off it. And some games don't age as well as this, like, and this is getting played on a very, very low-end laptop as well, so do not be expecting AAA visuals or anything close to resembling good <laughs> in terms of GPU capacity. I don't even think I've got a gigabyte of information on my chipset. But, anyway, one of the main features I do like about this is the, uh, the primary weapon is basically the only weapon you get, but you get four different modes, including the one you see in now on screen. You get sniper, shotgun, that sort of thing. There's a grenade launcher as well, I'm not mistaken. But that, that was a unique thing for the time. I mean, it's been done since, but... Before that, that was a completely new concept. And this game really did add to the level of tactical gameplay. And I think pushed the boundaries for games like Rainbow Six later on to uh, enable AI tactics and maneuvers to that level. I think either these were inspired by the Tom Clancy Corporation's games or the other way around, but definitely some interchanging ideas going on there. I mean, even on this low-end laptop, this game plays good. You know, you can play the whole campaign, enjoy the game, and you haven't spent £400 on an Xbox One, which is a bonus, of course. And that's an example there of the tactics, now when we detonate here. You know, it's nothing like 
complex, but before this game came out, there weren't a major amount of titles out there other than the Tom Clancy titles that enabled you to do something like that. Airstrike. They dropped a 5,000 pound JDM on the flocker. But anyway, um, that's all for this video, and if you'd like to see more, just leave a comment in the comment section about what game you'd like to see, and I'll do my best. Remember to like and subscribe and all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time. Stay the light.